This series of videos has been filmed in an ATF16949 certified supplier who is involved in the manufacture of a wide range of rivets used for automotive and non-automotive applications. They also design and manufacture equipment used in rivet insertion. The video shows extracts of simulated ATF16949 audits focus on the organization's quality management system processes. Watch this video and see if the auditor is undertaking the audit effectively. As always, we welcome feedback and comments. Hi, as part of your IATF audit, I'm following up on all the processes in the shop here. Can you tell me exactly what you're doing? Uh, yes, so this is sorting area on which we checking every single rivet, uh, taking into consideration all dimensions from the drawing. Yeah? So uh, we're making sure that every rivet which we deliver to customer is perfectly fine. Yeah? Okay. And can you explain a little bit about your setup and how you know that your machine is working properly and it's reading? I see dimensions here that the, the dimensions are reading pop properly. Yeah. So uh, when we set up new job, we set up the program. Yeah. So each program is recorded individually based on batch and part number. Uh, we using a micrometer to measure one rivet, and later on we set up offsets of, of cameras. Yes. Yeah? So each camera have to be set up individually, and later on we verification this setup. So we have to use samples which we name contamination pack. This is kind of a red rabbit test uh, where we're testing that each camera failing or accepting correct, ac failing wrong rivets or accepting correct one, yeah? So, for example, here we have five rivets which have to be de deleted by uh, or rejected by camera uh, system. Later on, we're making something which we name also sequence check. So we put rivets in a sequence, good, bad, good, bad, yeah, and machine have to reject it as well. And are those, those labeled so you know which one is what defect? Yeah, so uh, details are mentioned on contamination, on, on manufacturing pack, yeah, and for every rivet family we have some certain packs so we know to which rivet we should use which set. Okay, so, uh, and you can show me that that was done, it's set up, it's running. Yeah, so when we set it up yeah, and it is running, later on we can see on the screen a uh, picture from each camera. So, for example, camera one is checking head diameter, diameter one, to head height and total length. So all of these, to to all of these uh, dimensions you can find on the drawing, yeah? Okay. So we're checking all dimensions which are on customer drawing. So usually screen should be highlighted in green. It means that part is bad. If something is wrong, yeah, you can see this red blink. And okay. then part automatically is isolated and going to scrap box. Oh, automatically goes to the scrap box. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so very similar uh, with other cam cameras. So we're checking rivet from the side, from the bottom, and from the top as well. Uh, extra check for rivet bore to make sure that there is no uh, zinc balls or glass beads, yeah? It's laser, which is also checking, which we can see here, and uh, it's like double check that, that nothing is Yeah, and what's, what's that telling me up there? Uh, it's telling us uh, how ra laser is ra uh, running, yeah? So for example, you can see here the sticks, yeah? So it's detecting it is bored because when this is spinning around, yeah? It is not straight line, yeah? So every time when we have bore, yeah? You can see the peak on the screen. Okay. And then uh, I see some statistics over here. Can you walk me through those? Yeah, so basically this is statistics from, uh, from our process. So you can observe here every camera performance and how many rivets was strapped uh, on each camera yeah you can see here statistics from the shift from the day yeah and in total how many good or bad was uh, detected or classified all right thank you so much thank you very much. in this video the auditor is auditing one of the organization's manufacturing process namely product sorting 
In this process, conformance of each of the rivets is verified using an automatic camera measurement system built in to the sorting machine. It is evident that the auditor lacks a competency to challenge the auditee on the technical controls within the process. And as a result of this, the auditor doesn't seem confident in asking the questions. In the IETF requirements, this relates to requirement 7.2.3 related to internal auditor competency. And this states, at a minimum, manufacturing process auditors shall demonstrate a technical understanding of the relevant manufacturing process or processes to be audited, including process risk analysis, for example, such as FMEA and control plan. This understanding could be by working experience, could be by education and or training. But the key thing is the person managing the internal audit process should have evidence of the verification of competency. In this case, related to the technical understanding of the manufacturing process and also the use of the PFMEA and control plan. In this process, the key focus of the auditor should be able to verify the process is set up correctly and also verify how the camera inspection system is verified. The auditee explains that the rivet master sample are used to do the daily camera verification checks. The auditor should follow how these challenge parts are identified, controlled, verified and calibrated if feasible. Also, as the camera inspection system is a type of measurement system specified on the control plan, the auditor has the opportunity to follow audit trails to the measurement system analysis results. As this is a machine-based system, gauge r and would not really be the most suitable type of measurement system analysis study. It would be far better for the organization to use bias, linearity and stability checks to verify the measurement system variation. Finally, when undertaking any audit, auditors should try and ask as many open questions as possible. In this video, the auditor was making it too easy for the auditee by asking many closed questions, prompting in many cases a yes-no answer, which didn't give the auditor any objective evidence.